Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen. The Blue Hedgehog 2010 returns mm -hmm. you with part 9 of Let's Play Luigi's Mansion for Nintendo GameCube. In the last episode, we've gotten a couple of portrait ghosts. In this episode, we're going to get some more portrait ghosts. How oddly convenient. Mm -hmm. Now, in this room, you'd think mm -hmm. there's a blue ghost in here. But there actually isn't, I don't think. Oh yeah, there is. Shit. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Expect the unexpected, huh? So let's get some moolah here. Alright, the gimmick of this room is... Um, the Billard shoots balls. Well, he plays Billard, so of course he has to. What you have to do is suck up one of the balls and shoot him with it, if you can. Yeah, see, there's there's one right now. There's two. You have to hit him three times before you can suck this bad boy up. I don't think that's Billard, Billard you're playing, boy. I think... I think you need ten balls, not three. But yeah, that's all there is to it. He'll get exhausted, and all you have to do is suck him up. I don't think this guy is particularly bad. Just as long as you get him down for like the second time. When he's not... When you try to attempt to catch him, the first time round. Um, you won't need to hit him again with three balls, you only need to hit him again with just one, and you can just suck him up for the remaining of his health. So, not too bad. Oh shit. I was surprised I got that. But yeah, it's another optional ghost. There's a lot of optional ghosts here. Actually, let me go on ahead and catch the boo in here before I open up that chest. Why not? He's in here. Why? Well, he changed spots on me. That clever little bitch. Alright, let's hit here. And we will get boo-hoo. Oh, shit. Oh, don't go in here. He's gonna go in that hallway, isn't he? Yeah, he's gonna go in that hallway. I might as well go after him. The hallways are lit up, so we can always... Alright, there we go. We can suck him up for the remaining of the... Health, if I can. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, finally. <laughs> well done, Luigi. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, nothing really too fancy, but he starts telling you about Van Gore, and pretty much he is the artist of his paintings and he's pretty much the he's pretty much the head honcho of the ghost and crap like that so yeah kind of an interesting fact right there but we won't meet him until like the end of area four but like i was saying there's a lot of optional ghosts in this game well in this area <laughs> Alright, so, we move into this room, and the gimmick of this room is, let me see, okay, I don't think there is a, I don't think there's a blue ghost in here, no, but anyway, the gimmick of this room is, it's kind of like the mirror that you used, except you used the shadows to find your ghost, <laughs> not really much different, and not really that difficult either, just wait until they show up, But the ghosts will not come out until you activate the projector. 
And I don't remember how many ghosts there are on here. I think this may be the last one. Nope. Oh shit. Well, see, now I didn't even realize that ghost showed up, so. Shit. Maybe I should have probably waited, huh? So we're about five minutes in already. That's not too bad. Oh shit. Here we go. Okay, there's a couple more. Yeah, see, there's three of them right there. Let's see if I can get them three at the same time. I got two! That's something. That's something radical. Oh shit. Here we go. And that's it. You don't get a key. But we'll get into that in a minute. Flesh cream shampoo. Are you sure it's sham wow? Yeah. But anyway. Alright, so that's almost seven minutes in. We get another lost item, which is Mario's glove. Ew, it's a little sweaty. Yeah, I'd be disgusted by that too, Luigi. So, where the hell are we supposed to go? Hold on. Is there... Oh, I can go in that room. I completely forgot about that room. Hmm. Uh, I wonder. Hold on. Oh yeah, that's right. If you press the Z button, you can see how much treasure you got, what items you have, and what portrait ghosts you've, um, collected. So yeah. That's always interesting. So let's continue on. Let's go after Nana. Let's go after Nana next, yes. And I do believe in Nana's room there is a piece of cheese. So, more than likely there's going to be a gold mouse waiting for us in there. Alright. Let's let her sew for a bit. I think there is cheese around here somewhere. In fact, I know there has to be cheese in here somewhere. Is it under the table? Most likely is. God, my eyes feel irritated for some odd reason. Well, I'm pretty. Well, if there's no cheese, I'm pretty sure there's a blue ghost waiting for us. I think he's in this bag. No? Well, that's a shocker. There's no blue ghost. There's a moldy old journal. Will you read it? Yeah, no. Oh shit. Yeah, you won't get hurt by her, but you can get pushed back. I mean, it is a rocking chair after all. Alright, nothing in here. Alright, so the gimmick of this room is, um, knock down her yarn balls. When you suck one of them up, she'll start moving around. Then all you have to do is just hit her with her ball of yarn. Ah, shit. She'll start... Yeah, if you miss her, you'll have to exit the room, then re-enter the room, and repeat the process. Luckily, I don't think... Oh, shit. Come on. Man, by the rate this is going, this might be the last portrait ghost for this episode. <laughs> Let's continue on, though. Thirds. Hey. As I was saying, third time's a charm, but this is like the fourth time already. Ugh. Ah, shit. You gotta be careful with these yarn balls because they can push you around. Shit. Alrighty, so now, just get her with the- ah! 
frickin' yarn ball. <laughs> oh shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get back in here. Shit. Fuck. Come on. I kinda wanna get her today. Jesus. Alright, so now we got her. She'll be like, what the fuck did you do with my yarn? And be like, well, I have to use him as ammo against you, old lady. She's not that hard to get, but you do need to watch out. Watch out for the poison mushroom. Okay. Unfortunately, no gold portrait for her, but... Let's go on ahead and get the boo first. Let's get the boo first. And we got Limbooger. I like how stupid the names of these boos are. <laughs> I'll go in there. That room's lit anyway. Yeah, I find it hilarious that there's no boos in washrooms, and yet boos can still come in here. And God damn it, I think I lost that boo. Well, let's go into the next washroom and hope for the best, huh? Never mind. Awesome. Shit. Oh, thank God. All right. Let's go on ahead and save. All right. So that leaves us with four minutes. I guess we can go on ahead and turn in our um, lost items to Madame Clairvoya. She can tell us more about the past. I mean, we got the... What did we get? We got the letter written. And we also got, um... Shit, we also got Mario's glove. It's all sweaty. But yeah. No biggie. Let's go on ahead and bring out Madame Clairvoya. Yeah, let's speak to her. Hmm? What is this object you have here? Show it, please, to Madame Clairvoya. What is this? If it isn't Mario's glove, still damp with the sweat of the living. Oh ho, there they come. Now the spirits come. Come spirits of power. Come spirits of sight. Show them to me the awful things occurring here tonight. Crystal orb, symbol of my clan. Use your darkling power to show us all you could. I mean can. Show us all you can. Show us this Mario. The light of the spirits comes. Show us what we see. Oh, Haram. Your Mario is imprisoned. But where? Oh, where is he being held? Ah, a painting. Your Mario has been imprisoned within a painting. My orb shows an odd altar. And come on, you stupid orb. Yes, above it. Your Mario, trapped in a painting. Ugh, I cannot concentrate. Spirits are living, leaving me. If you wish to know more of your Mario, bring more of his dropped items. I think we have enough time to show her this letter. Hmm, hmm. what is this object you have here? Show it, please, to Madame Clairvoya. It's Mario's letter. Give it to me. I can read it. Mm, sure, it's okay. I'm a licensed letter reader. I sure hope you are. What's what? Mm, let's see. Look out for booze, Luigi. Well, for that, fucking obvious. Is that all? Not a novelist, Joe Mario. This must have been written in quite a hurry. And she'll be saying the same thing over and over again, so we can go ahead and skip ahead. Until she's like, listen, can you hear it? The inner voice of your sweet, beloved Mario. Oh, horrors, what is this, King? King Boo? What is this, King Boo? I do not understand just what he means, but beware of King Boo. This is what your brother wishes to say to you. Oh, yes, a Boo who wears a crown, I see. This is King Boo, so he is the one who has captured your Mario. I can say no more. Spirits leave me even now. Yep. And with the remaining time, we might as well try and hurry back to save and probably cause an episode. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, in the next episode, we will continue on with Area 3, and yeah, we'll go through there. So until then, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Blue Hedgehog 2010, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day.